Hi everyone, my name is Jamie and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I make videos about knitting, yarn, fiber arts, all that good stuff. So if that interests you, feel free to check out my channel and subscribe if you like what you see. This video has definitely been a long time coming. I I think the last time I organized my yarn stash was in late 2022. I did a video on it and we've accumulated some yarn. We've accumulated some yarn scraps. Some is a loose term, many yarn scraps in that time. So I figured it was well and truly time to go through it again and develop some potentially more sustainable organization storage systems because the current situation and I'll do a full because you can't see it all right now uh, this might look okay this might look okay but everything I'm gonna I'm gonna move the camera in a minute but everything from this side down underneath the frame where you can't see is incredibly out of hand so i thought okay jamie you actually just have to get your together and sort this all out because it's getting to a point where like i want to use my scraps i don't even know what i have it's so so difficult to even see what i have because everything is kind of just like in this like giant pile in my shelves and it's not conducive to actually using them up which is why they just accumulate in case you're wondering what i'm wearing this is my all the cardigan which is my own pattern from my book fast and fabulous knits which i don't even think i've like properly shown on here because i don't know life's gotten busy life's gotten crazy but this is my my book and it is available now so if you wanted to get the pattern that i've literally worked on for the past year the link as always is in the description i could go on and on about how excited i am but this is fine out. Uh, still feels crazy to say that. I also should mention that all the patterns are available on my website, my Ravelry and my Etsy individually. So if you want to get a sense for my writing style before buying the book or you're just only interested in one or two patterns or for whatever reason you can buy the patterns there. So yeah anyway let's get on with the video. I ended up getting these crates from Amazon because they looked really cute. I've seen them obviously everywhere and I thought that it would be a good way like to like color coordinate my yarn. I think that's kind of how I want to at least attempt to organize it all. So I have eight. They are a little smaller than I had hoped they would be, but I have four shelves. You can't see two of them, but four shelves that I want to use the crates on. I'm honestly fine with these two shelves. This has all my cakes and this has all my skeins that haven't been wound as well as my yarn winder. But I think I might move that to be uh, here or here. I might like switch around just so that like it's a bit more uniform especially once I have the crates I feel like I want the crates to be like all next to each other rather than in like a little L shape if that makes sense but yeah the crates are a little smaller than I'd hoped I did the measurements before ordering them and I know I'm gonna be able to fit two in each I mean I could stack them if I wanted to buy more but I ended up just getting eight because I didn't want to spend that much money but yeah I can definitely fit two in each and I kind of like that I'll be able to see what's in them rather than stacking them because if I start stacking them then it's like I'm not gonna be able to see anything that I have and I'm probably not gonna use it. So that was the thinking behind the crates. So the crates are gonna just be for all my like scraps and leftovers. And yeah, there's four different colors. I've got two of each. And so I figured I could kind of organize it by color. So I'm just gonna open up, get the plastic off of the crate packages so that I can actually show you them. All right, so they're still kind of wrapped in their own little packaging, but you can see I have this like pink. It's a bit darker than I thought it would be, but I still think it's really cute. That's gonna have all my pink, maybe purple scraps, but I honestly have so much pink that I might not even be able to fit purple in these two. I'm kind of nervous. I'm not gonna be able to fit everything, but anyway. And then this is blue. It's kind of like a gray blue vibe. So this will be all my blue. Maybe I can do blue and purple in here. And then this is green. I do use a lot of green, so I'm thinking this will probably just be green. <laughs> and then this is orange, so I think yellow, orange, red will go in here. So that kind of sums up the colors that I use. I don't really use any neutrals, so I don't know. If I do have any neutral scraps, I'll just figure out. I'll figure out where to put them. So I've never actually done this, or at least not in a while, like given a full tour of my yarn stash. So I figured I should probably do that before we take everything apart. So like I said, this is the one that has all my cakes. There are a few missing because I'm using them, but I don't know, it kind of annoys me that I don't have enough to like have two kind of even rows, but this is the, the best that we've got. Uh, and then this is all my skeins. This has grown significantly <laughs> in the last few weeks uh, since I've been to the Australian Yarn Show. I'm gonna try and like get behind the um, yarn winder. 
Um, since I went to the Australian Yarn Show and also since I went to Little Woolly last weekend. So I've accumulated quite a few unwound skeins and it's best not to wind them until you want to use them. I made that mistake with a lot of these, so I really need to get to using them. But yeah, so I've just left them all here. And then this is where it gets a bit chaotic. So this shelf isn't too bad. There's a few skeins that I haven't used yet. These two, these four, I've really, I've had these for so long and I just, I want to use them so badly, but I just don't know what I want to make. Um, and then these are a bunch of leftovers I have from a project that was honestly a failed project that I need to unravel from years ago, but they're really, really pretty. So I definitely am going to make something with all these pastel colors because they're so nice. But these are all like bl my blown yarns. Um, and then yeah, we've got the fluff. We've got, this is like the most beautiful, like cashmere silk, marina i don't know it's a beautiful mohair situation i need to figure out actually what fiber this is i can't remember but it's like stunning and that's why i'm like scared to use it <laughs> then we have all my fluff scraps so lots of mohair a bit of suri okay this is all my cotton and acrylic or just like random i don't know like novelty yarns that i've accumulated most of this is from the olden days this is definitely this one and this one are the worst <laughs> in terms of chaoticness but yeah, so this is gonna have to be seriously gone through and I'm probably gonna get rid of a lot of it, to be honest, because it's just it's really out of hand. And then this one is definitely the one that's grown the most and what's causing me the most anxiety because it's yarn that I actually think I would wanna use uh, for like scrap projects or like, I don't even know, just like I have like significant leftovers here. I actually think some of these I have like full skeins and I've like unraveled, like this is from like a previous project and I have like a bunch of these. so these might actually go into the top shelf but yeah I have just like so much you this doesn't even what you can see right now doesn't even scratch the surface but this is all my like nice yarn leftovers basically this is like the yarn that I don't really like like cotton that I don't use and acrylic and random other things and then this is like the nice yarn that I've used for previous projects that have just like ended up in here so that's my shelf <laughs> situation I do have other yarn storage, which I'll show you now because I honestly don't think I've actually ever showed it before. Sorry, excuse the plant that's like in the way. I got these um, drawers slash shelves from Ikea sometime last year and it has honestly been a savior. I use them to store all of my like sweater quantities of yarn pretty much and some random other things. I also use it as a shelf for all my book patterns because I just, I wanted to keep them all in one place, just makes things easier. Um, and then I also have a bunch of books here. Of course, we've got my book on the top and a bunch of other knitting books that I have, crochet books and my blocking pins, some bags. And then this is where all the yarn, so I'll do a quick, quick tour. So most of this yarn I honestly bought on my trip last year to Europe. I really need to use a lot of it. I have project plans for most of it just haven't gotten around to most of it yet or I've like started projects and haven't finished them. So this is my Knitting for Olive Heavy Merino. I'm gonna make something from this book, Cable Knit Style. I can't remember which pattern it is, but it's one of the patterns from here. I'll remember it when I see it. This is a bunch of Knitting for Olive soft silk mohair. I did have a plan for these, but I think I don't wanna make it anymore because it's not really size inclusive and I probably could just do something better than the pattern I was gonna make with these. So need to figure out <laughs> what's gonna happen, but I was planning on holding three strands together and I still really wanna do that because I think it would be so pretty. And then this was also for a project that I was gonna make, but they've decided not to make it anymore, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably design something with this Kama Rose Snefnag. It's like the most gorgeous yarn ever. Then I've got this, um, Alpaca Air from Lana Grossa and I want to design something with these, probably like a vest or something. Then once again, something I want to design with. Um, it's the Chaos Yarn Organic Soft Merino and Organic Brush Alpaca in the shade, I don't even know, the green one, whatever it's called. And then I've already started using this for my Gingham, Great Gingham Raglan, no, Great Gingham Jumper. Whatever, the one from Jessie Mae, haven't finished that. So that's what this is for. And then this is for when I'm gonna re-knit my sweater number 20 for my favorite thing to knitwear. And I'm gonna hold mohair with it. This is the Phil Kalana Tilia. I still need to do that. <laughs> and then I have a bunch of chunky skeins from Cardigan at the bottom, some Stitch and Story. 
Okay, moving on to these shelves. Once again, more Stitch and Story, some market stuff, a bunch of random like fabrics and backdrops and stuff that I've used here, as well as like, a whole lot of market stuff underneath. Then, okay, here's my all my chunky scraps. So I've kind of color coordinated it, sort of, like blue and then like reds and oranges and purples and stuff. Not really purple, but I don't know. You get the point, yellows. And then like, this plant leaf is fully in the way. Pinks and purples go in here. And then I have some skeins, <laughs> same yarn that I'm wearing and some Malabrigo Rios. I can actually like, spread these out now. I am using this now for a test knit. This I still need to use and I have one caked up as well. And then we won't talk about what is in this one because it's no one's business. Um, but yeah, so that's my main yarn storage for like all my like proper like sweater quantities or like project quantities of yarn slash chunky scraps. But this is what we're gonna be dealing with. Also like, don't mind the fact that my walls have literally nothing on them. We've just had our house repainted and we're not putting anything on the wall yet. We haven't got like hooks or anything. So sad. It's a little bit of a sad situation, but at least they're really nice and white and smooth. So this is kind of what we're dealing with. These six shelves, but mostly four shelves. And I'm going to do the crates and we're going to have a good time. Okay. So I guess we just pull up these little edges and snap them in. Yeah, these are a lot smaller. I don't know why I thought it was gonna be bigger. Like I had the measurements and everything, but I don't know how much I'm really gonna be able to fit in these. So this might be a bit of a flop or I might need to get more crates. I don't know, I'm a bit nervous. I don't think eight's enough, we'll see. But yeah, that's how it works. So it's pretty simple, you just pull out Oh, oh, no, let's not, let's not break this. Let's not break it. No, that just snaps right back in. It's all good. We didn't break it, everybody. Whew, that was scary. Okay, we just pull it up nice and gently. And then we just snap oh, these. Yeah, there we go. Three, yeah, I think I'm just gonna be more gentle with this and then just snap, 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 snap. All right, let's get started, I guess. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna take stuff off the shelf and then start sorting it into little piles on my bed, I guess. I think I'm just gonna be quite strict about what goes in to these uh, piles so anything that is like not really a scrap like even this isn't really scraps I think I'm gonna like I don't know put it somewhere else basically maybe I'll just put it aside for now and then we'll we'll, we'll see I, I don't know what to do with like rainbow skeins like this. I think maybe, yeah, I think it fits in there. This one can go here, this one can go here. This is pretty big as well. So I think I'm gonna leave this aside pretty much an entire skein. Once again, I don't know, green, orange. I'll leave it here for now. Okay, I think I'm gonna just start putting things into the crates and hope that they fit. Because if not, we're gonna be in trouble because we have, a, oh my God, this is not good. We're gonna have so much, like this all fits, but oh God, I have like two other shelves worth of stuff. I think I'm gonna have to get rid of a lot, honestly, because I, I really want things to, okay, this is giant. This cannot go in there. This is also giant. That fits because I got rid of stuff. The P 
pink, I'm concerned. This is also giant, so this is not gonna go in there. Everything else, I think, can go in. We have to put like the bigger stuff at the bottom. Okay, that all fits. And then the yellow, this I'm not really so concerned about. There we go. Okay, so it definitely like looks super cute. Like that's adorable, but we have quite a lot more to get through. So this will be interesting. I know I still have other crates, but Definitely not enough. I don't think you guys realize like how bad this is. I've already taken a few bits and pieces out, but like this is just like crazy. Like it doesn't seem to ever have an end. Like <laughs> I think this is the only way to do it. Just on top floor, and we'll work out the rest from there. Oh my god! Wow, sick, awesome, amazing. everything from that one drawer. I am so overwhelmed. <laughs> okay, I think anything that's like a decent size, like this is like almost a full scan. Like this cannot go in there. I think that's gonna be like my new rule. I don't know what I'm gonna do <laughs> with all of those scans. We'll figure that out after, I guess. But yeah, I think that's gonna be my new rule. Maybe I can just add them to my pretty cake uh, shelf, but yeah, I just don't think I can fit everything. So I'm trying to keep things like, and also if it's like almost full scale, like I'm not really gonna use it for a scrap project. Like I'm probably gonna use it for something else. Like don't ask me what, but yeah. So I think that's how we're gonna go about doing this. Wish me luck. There's no chance in hell this is all gonna fit in these crates, but we're gonna do our best. This is starting to look a bit more manageable. We'll see how we go. Okay, we, we've we organized it. I'm actually feeling a little bit better now that I've taken out all these like giant skeins. I feel like we might be on something. Okay, this is all really manageable, but I have all these extra skeins, plus I haven't even gone through one of the horrible drawers yet, so I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, I'm really not sure what I'm gonna do. I'm just like staring at this terrifying drawer. I'm really happy with all of this, um, and I'll figure out what to do with these bigger skeins. Some of them might go in my drawer storage, some of them might get added to my cake shelf, but I really, I'm a bit nervous about trying to, I might just, I might just go through and do like a keep chuck, keep chuck situation. I know it's out, I actually, there's nothing I hate more than throwing out yarn. I clearly avoid it at all costs, but sometimes you've just gotta do it. No one's gonna want it. Like it's literally just like random leftovers. And I just, yeah, I can't anymore. 
So I think that's what we're gonna have to do. As much as it pains me to throw away yarn, I might just have to do it. <laughs> Sad. All right, it's time to tackle this bad boy. I think I'm gonna like, as I take things out, I'm gonna put them into the keep throw piles rather than taking them all out first and then putting them into the piles because I think I'll be too overwhelmed. It's so hard because like, I don't know what I'm gonna use things for, but I don't know. I'm just gonna go on instinct and then we'll see. We have our keep pile, we have our chuck pile. I'm honestly devastated about this, but at the same time I feel like this is a good idea and this is what needs to be done. So I'm gonna show you just in a second what I've got in each pile. Okay, so this is the keep pile and this is the chuck pile. About, about an even split. I'm happy with this. I'm very content about this. Don't know what's gonna happen with this situation. But this situation is beautiful and I'm gonna show it to you. Like, okay. Why does this look so aesthetic? <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And I managed to squeeze all of my scrappy scraps and then I just have like a pile of like bigger skeins which we'll deal with. I, I don't know how, but we will. So this is, this is what we're looking at. I've kind of got like, yeah, most of like the fluffy stuff in here the less fluffy stuff in here. There's a bit of crossover, but for the most part, that's what we're looking at. So I think what I'm gonna do, yeah, I think I want like the bottom four shelves of yarn to all be the crates. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move all of these. This, I'm actually, yeah, this is gonna come off because I need this to like be in line with my bed. This makes uh, winding yarn easier because I always put my, I have like a table swift, but I put it on my, my bed. Um, so if I was to put it up here, like I could still wind yarn, I just would just have to like hold the yarn. But yeah, I don't know. I think that's gonna go in front of the crates because there should be some space. Excuse you. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna move all of these skeins up here. I'll do a quick show and tell as we do that. So these are my Cowgirl Blues skeins that I bought in South Africa. I'm gonna design something with these. There's so many designs that just don't exist like I'm like yeah I'll design something that what I have no idea let's just pile it up we've got woolen works we've got more yarn from South Africa we've got my Sorella yarn from the oopsie sale oh, this oh, I need to use this so badly like it is probably one of my favorite skeins I own this also some of this is like all my new yarn you would have seen it if you watched my most recent vlogs but yeah all of this oh, this is all so this is Spun Right Round from Little Woolly that I bought last week. Also these Hedgehog Fibers skeins that I bought last week. <laughs> so beautiful. And then these are the ones that I bought from Skip Rope at the yarn show last week. No, the weekend before. And my Obsession yarns, gorgeous. And then we've got Super Glow Fiber, so pretty and more yarn show stuff. Joker Momo textiles, got these. This isn't actually a skein. <laughs> this is not a, a hank. This is just one that I got at the yarn show that came in our gift bag from Queensland Collection. It's their Myrtle Eucalyptus yarn. I still kind of think it fits here though, so I'm just gonna put it there because it just it's a nice, easy place to, for it to go. Okay, beautiful. So we've got cakes, we've got skeins. I think a lot of the stuff I might like wind up into cakes. I know I'm not meant to do it, but I might wind up like some of that yarn into cakes so that it like can fit easier over here. Cause we have so much space over here to fill up. So that's really what I'm gonna do after. But for now, we're gonna start filling up these bottom shelves with crates. Start with the green. 
Oh yeah, there's plenty of space. Maybe I'll do blue here. Oh, so pretty. And I can see everything. Okay, and then we'll do pink here. Oh, so pretty. Here. They obviously like fit so nicely. I did the measurements before just to make sure. And yeah, I had a feeling there would be like a pretty perfect fit, but like, this is just like so satisfying. Okay, so we obviously have space. Like it's obviously not gonna look as nice if I just like overflow these crates. So I'm thinking I'm gonna keep them how they are. I might find somewhere else to keep this and then just like when I need it, I'll put it on here. But maybe, I'll yeah, I'll find somewhere else to put this just so that it kind of remains a little bit more nice and uniform, but oh my God, that is so pretty. Okay, let me just go through which ones are ready in cakes and I can add them to this shelf. These are the ones that I have left that are caked up, but I think I'd want to re-cake them up just to make them a little bit neater so they will like balance better. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to wind it up here. Normally I would do it lower down, as I said, but since I'm not using a Swift, I'm just winding it from a cake. I don't really feel like that's necessary. Oh, I, I always need to put this down for safety because I get so scared I'm gonna ruin my sign Taylor Swift CD. probably do this way too fast but I don't have the patience <laughs> to to do it slow I like my skeins tight I know that's really bad I know I know that's that beautiful cowgirl blues my camera battery died for a bit there and I'm just winding skeins and I didn't really feel the need to like take a break while it charges because I was like well I'm just winding skeins like I'm trying to be productive here so I've done a few as you can as you can see still several to go Obviously, I'm not going to wind everything into cakes. Skeins? Cakes? I'm sorry, I'm using the word interchangeably. Cakes. But yeah, I think I've still got a couple more to go. I'm just like trying to figure out how to like organize all of this. It's so hard to fit. Uh, Okay, <sighs> I'm gonna bring you a bit closer so you can see my struggles here. So like, not everything like fits perfectly and it really annoys me. Can you see how like, maybe if I, oh, okay. If I just, for a second here, if I just put, okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> put all of these at the, ooh, oh no, everything's falling down. Oh my God. Okay, these three are at the front. Doing like all the big skeins. This one's big. Just like the cakes not all being the same size just makes this really hard to like do. <laughs> but we're gonna make it work, okay? I just don't want anything to like fall over, see? Oh, that could work. I'm just trying to find like smaller ones that can like sit. That works, I guess. This part's a little bit of a work in progress, but like I don't hate that. I don't hate it at all. It's not, it's not horrible. Okay, I think that's done. So, sorry, I got a bit hot, so I took my jacket off, but none of these I wanted to cake up. So I think I'm just gonna find little homes for them in my other storage section. Cause I think there's space. I think we've got some space for some of these. So that's what we're gonna do next. rest can go like in here okay I think I'm all done I need to do like a little yes there you go we're not going to talk about the fact that I have a bag full of wool in the gang yarn. We're not gonna talk about it because that is gonna be used very soon. Some of it already has been used. So I'm just leaving that in there because it's an easy place to store it. 
no questions asked, okay? We're not talking about that. I think that's all for this video. I'm super happy with how everything has come together and how the crates turned out, of course, and how I've managed to kind of <laughs> fill up this shelf and definitely moving this shelf. I'm really happy with all those decisions. I think this will be a lot more manageable for future me. I like that I haven't stacked these crates because I think it just means it's a lot easier to kind of add to the crates when I accumulate more scraps. But I'm also hoping that like being able to see everything will encourage me to use the scraps more so that I don't just continue to accumulate a giant pile. I definitely need to not buy yarn for the next couple of months. Like that is definitely a goal of mine. Anyway, I hope this was like motivating for you, maybe a bit inspirational if you're thinking about reorganizing your yarn stash. Yeah, I think that's all. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.